Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna check out the best wide angle lens for Nikon in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and many more. To find out more information about these wide angle lens for Nikon you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality wide angle lens for Nikon according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Sigma 10 20mf 3.5x DCHSM LDSLD. Sigma offers you a very usable and reasonably priced lens for your Nikon DX camera. Its most attractive feature is the constant f 3.5 aperture throughout the zoom lens range. This makes it ideal for video work. You can also use manual mode easier, as you don't have to reconfigure your exposure every time you zoom. Image quality, while not the best, is acceptable. You can shoot detailed, colorful images with this lens. Autofocus is quick and accurate. Sigma's HSM system works well. The lens is made out of plastic, which brings down durability, but in turn, makes the lens lighter. If you're starting out with a DX Nikon camera, for instance, a D3300, this is an inexpensive and easy entry to the world of wide-angle lenses. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Nikon FSDX Snicker 10 24 f 3.54.5 it. If you're looking for a wide-angle zoom lens for your DX camera made by Nikon, this will be your choice. The lens improves on the previous Sigma lens in image quality. It delivers sharp images with good contrast. It also improves on the zoom range, 24 nears what some consider wide normal angle of view. Build quality is slightly better, plasticky, but more robust. With this wide-angle zoom lens, you'll have to sacrifice the constant aperture. Thus, we don't recommend this lens for video work. You're paying a higher price, but you're also getting slightly better quality with this lens. If you're planning to stick with DX cameras for a while and want a great all-purpose wide-angle zoom, this is a great option. The number 3 position is held by Sigma 1224M-4DGHSMR. This is the first lens on our list to be designed for full-frame cameras. With their R line of lenses, Sigma soars to new heights rarely reached by third-party manufacturers before. In terms of image quality and usability, this lens is at a comparable level to top of the line Nikon glass. It is built of metal and plastic, feeling solid and heavy in the hands. On full-frame format, this lens is ultra-wide. So wide, that even if you put it on a DX camera, it still remains very wide. If you currently have a DX camera, but you're planning to upgrade to FX, this is a great choice. You won't have to look for a new lens and will get more out of your existing Sigma 1224 Mart. Yet, you may find one downside. Due to the bulbous front element, you can't attach filters easily. There are solutions, but they are hard to set up and inconvenient. If you're planning to use your wide-angle zoom lens with filters, we recommend taking a look at Nikon's own 1635MF-4 VR. Next at number 4 we have Sigma 860MF-4.55.6 DCHSM FLDF. This is the widest lens you can get on DX format. The Sigma 816 gives you the same angle of view on DX as the 1224 mon FX. It delivers you sharp, detailed images, with decaying resolution only towards the extreme corners at Aiden. Though not a part of the R line, Sigma constructed this lens very sturdily, much better than their cheaper ones. Mounting filters is hardly possible because of the big front glass. Also, the aperture is relatively slow. It will require you to use higher ISO settings or slower shutter speeds. However, the reason you get this lens is its ultra-wide-angle lens. There is really no other way to achieve that on DX. If you don't mind the aperture and the filters, you get fabulous value with the A16 Sigma lens. The number 5 position is held by Takina at X1628 MF-2.8 Pro. Takina is one of the less known lens manufacturers, but their products represent excellent value. The 1628 MF-2.8 is no exception. This lens offers you a constant F-2.8 aperture at a very reasonable price. Picture quality is outstanding. In its class of fast wide-angle lenses, only Nikon's 1420 form surpasses its. With all metal construction, it feels comfortable in your hands. The autofocus could be faster, but it is accurate. 
Similarly to previous lenses, filters are a problem on this one as well. However, it's the price of this wide-angle lens that is hard to beat. Coming in at only a third of the cost of the Nikon 1420 form, it's undoubtedly a bargain. The number 6 position is dominated by Dakina at X1120 f 2.8 Pro DX. This wide-angle lens is the little brother of the 1628. It fits DX cameras, yet you can use it on full frame with compromises too. At 16 men above, it covers the FX sensor as well. On the DX lens market, though, it represents a class of its own. There's no other zoom that offers f 2.8 aperture throughout its whole range, only the previous versions of this very lens. This version improves slightly on them in terms of image quality. Also, this is the first to go up to 20 instead of 16. The form of extra reach can help you out in a lot of situations. Construction and materials are the same as on the 1628. However, this lens is not held back by the lack of a filter ring. You can use 77 screw-on filters. For a DX lens, its price is not the lowest, but in our opinion, it's still an outstanding offer. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Nikon FS Nikkor 1635mf slash fork at VR. Do you want a lens that is perfect for serious landscape photography? Are you planning for a lot of video work? Or just want a great all-rounder wide-angle zoom? This 1635mm is the ultimate choice for you. It excels in image quality, delivering corner-to-corner -corner sharpness and remarkable contrast. Add to that the possibility to use screw-on filters, and this lens becomes the tool of the professional landscape photographer. The constant aperture of f 4 and the image stabilization, VR also make it an excellent asset for you as a video creator. It is constructed from top-grade plastic, which makes it lighter but keeps it well protected. The number 8 position is held by Nikon FS Nikkor 1420 Form F-2.8 GED. This lens from Nikon is their ultimate wide-angle zoom lens for you if you're willing to pay its price. It is bulky, heavy and sturdy, and does not compromise on any front. Image quality is the best on the market. Photos are razor-sharp throughout. So good, in fact, that this is the only Nikon lens we have seen adapted onto a Canon camera. If you want to exploit its full functionality, you have to stick with Nikon bodies, though. Autofocus is quick and snappy. This is a professional lens, and with that comes professional pricing. However, if you want the absolute best out of your wide-angle zoom lens, there is no other option. Next, at number 9, we have Tamron 1735mf 2.84 DIOS. The center of the lens is tack sharp throughout the zoom range and aperture range. It also has enough resolution that you can use it with the highest megapixel Nikon cameras such as the 45.7 megapixel 7i or date 150. So long as you don't need a constant f 2.8 aperture, this is the perfect lens to keep in your bag at all times since it doesn't take up too much space or weigh too much. Probably my favorite part about this lens is how small and light it is compared to other lenses in this class. For comparison, the popular Nikon 1635mf 4 is 24.0 oz compared to this lens 16.2 oz. Plus, you get the wider f 2.8 aperture at the wide end with this lens. At 3.5 in, Nine dim long, it sits nicely in the bag without taking up too much space. If you want a lens to shoot stars at night, you may want to go with a wider maximum aperture and look at one of these Nikon astrophotography lenses. When the lens is wide open, there is a very slight softness around the edges but it is hardly noticeable. Stopping down to around f 5.6 to f 8 will clear that up and give you impeccable image quality. Overall, the combination of image quality, compactness, lightweight, and affordable price make this the wide-angle lens I would recommend to any Nikon shooter. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Nikkor Z1430mf 4S. This is one of the sharpest lenses I've ever used and even on the 45.7 megapixel 7 i it is able to resolve every pixel sharply. So the image quality is excellent. What really excites me about this lens is the usability of it. As far as I can tell from my research, it is currently the only 14 zoom that takes normal 82 filters. That's a big deal for me since I use filters often for shooting landscapes. The lens is also very light and compact for one with a 14 wide focal length. It weighs in at 17.1 Oz, 485 G and measures 3.5 N, 89 mm in diameter and 3.3 N, 85 mm in length. That's about the same weight as the Temron above but more compact. 
Nikon also has a 1420 form f/2.8 model. That's similar to the DSLR version of that lens. While the image quality is amazing, there are some drawbacks. It is double the price of the 1430mm, and while it does accept filters on the front, you need 112mm filters. The differences in image quality between the f/4 and the f/2.8 lenses are minimal, so unless you shoot night skies and absolutely need that wide f/2.8 max aperture. Save yourself over $1,000 and go for the 1430 f/4 lens. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.